hit somebody car just now with my wagon. It's hot. It's a hot day out here today. Yeah, you know where I'm at. I'm back at it. Y'all miss me? If you miss me, you're going to get this video a heart. You're going to like this video if you miss me. If you didn't miss me, I miss you. Something went in my eye. Somebody just left their kicks out here like that. That's how it goes down. People just leave their shoes in the middle of the, of the street. Hey, what's up, everyone? How's everybody doing today? I miss y'all. I've been away from Kensington doing other stuff. Hope everyone is doing well. Yeah, we're going to give. I was giving out donations today. So you can see I, I got the wagon. Trooping with the wagon. So I had a message last night from Carol. It, you know, Carol and, and um, what's the guy's name? Kevin. I wasn't going to mess with them, but I have a good heart. You know, having a good heart, sometimes it's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing. Because you care too much. Yeah, having a good heart make you care too much. And some people take advantage of that, you know? But I'm on my way to see Kevin and Carol. She said, she messaged me last yesterday and said that she need clothes. So I'm being a nice guy, being a nice guy. I'm, I'm going all the way over there to give, him, give her some clothes, give Kevin some clothes. She won. She says she won close. <laughs> Mal is being a nice guy because I was gonna be like, not gonna reply, but my heart is just too big sometimes. So hopefully she learned from the stuff that she did in the past, as far as like insulting people screaming at Kevin I don't like stuff like that I don't like people yelling or screaming that's signs of abuse I hate I hate for people to yell at me I'm not your kid I'm not your child but I'm just doing this on behalf of God who who did that Thank you. Thank you, dear. Shout out to everyone in the chat. Sorry, I, I have to pay attention to what's in front of me. Or else I'll fall in a hole. And you know who's going with me? All of y'all going with me. <laughs> Sorry if the phone is wobb wobbling. I don't have a stabilizer is, is being held in my hands oh my god I scratched my eye I have something in my eye All right. yeah it's a long walk all the way to Port Richmond then I gotta turn around do the same walk back and I have my heavy boots on today 
I don't, I don't like wearing my expensive sneakers down here because I don't want people to think I'm some type of... I don't want people to think I got it. And I really don't got it. But when I come down here, I don't like to dress fly. So she said, they are down by Port Richmond where Bill, you know the spot Bill? Bill hangout area. That's what she said it was at. But over here where it was usually, where it was staying before was over here. Look like it's a whole new, whole new crew moved in. So when we get to her, we'll find out about the kitten because that's something I'm, one of the main reasons why I want to see them is to find out about the kitten. I don't know if that's them over here, but she said Port Richmond. So it might be a whole new people over here. Hey, Kevin, not Kevin. Oh, okay. I'll be back with some stuff, guys. Yeah. What, Scar? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. What you said? Cards, oh nah this is for business yeah. if i do have one i'll keep you in mind all right because yeah, uh-huh basically um i am made um um i had this piece uh welded by a guy that works you know steel stuff uh-huh so i can hook it up to the bike yeah and basically i got it oh yeah you're right and i can Cool stuff I can get you one, brother. I can. I can definitely talk to the family. We get you one of these. That's gonna help you out, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll be back. I'm gonna give some donations out. Whenever I have left, I'll bring it back to y'all, right? right. Y'all stay you safe know. out here. Take one of these smokes, man. Take two, all right, brother? Thank you. Yeah, you know. What's your name? Tino. T Tino. Tino. Dino. Nice yeah. to meet you, Dino. My name is Malcolm. I do outreach work out here, so I'll see you in a little bit if you're still here, all right, brother? All right. Thank you. Man. You got it, brother. You too. All right, let's keep it moving. Yeah, I, I have to let Kevin and Carol take what they want because some people have already been taking stuff from the from the bag. So I don't want to get to them and then there's nothing left. So whatever they take, I'll bring the rest back. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't see the see the ch the chat, fam. I'm so sorry. The sun is the sun is blazing in my eyes. It's causing a glare on the screen. So once I find a shade, we'll go in the shade. So I can say we are like ten minutes away from Port Richmond. That's the train tracks that I usually go up on. That's why I found the, the cat. So the cat is Kathleen. It's, ad it's adopting the cat. Isn't that awesome? Because I was like, who's going to take this cat? I don't want to bring her back to Kensington and release her while I found her at because she was suffering. So I needed to find a home for her. She already got spayed and everything. She, Sandra took care of her. She gained weight. So she's a really healthy girl now. So Kathleen is going to adopt her. And that way I can go, you know, st stay in touch with the cat. That's our, that's our Kensington cat. Hopefully I can save more cats and find them homes. Hey to you. What's up, Miss R? What's up, Lady? Lady Kate. I'm just at the bottom of the chat, y'all. I'm just looking at the bottom. When I get home, then I can re-watch the live. I spoke to Ma I spoke to Maya yesterday. Maya is doing great. She's very happy where she's at so today i'll be i'll be opening a p.o box in florida 
our Florida family because we have two people that's dead now. We have Matt and we have Maya in Florida. So what I'm going to do is today, I talked to Jackie already to open a P.O. box in Florida because it'll be easier for me that way because if people send stuff to my P.O. box, then I'll have to send it back to her in Florida. That's too much for me, guys. You know, I can't put too much on myself. I already got enough on my hand already. So I told her to open a P.O. box for herself and we'll use that P.O. box to send stuff to Florida because I can't. She told me not to use the address due to the fact Maya is in the public eye. Due to the fact she's in the public eye and it's a safe house, so I can't give the address out. So I told her to open the P.O. box so that way people can send stuff. Because Maya says she needs stuff. She sent me a list of stuff that she need. I'm like, damn. It's like everybody, everybody need help, you know? And so I was sending money today so they can open the P.O. box on that side for them. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Wherever you are in this world. That's my guy, Derek. Derek, is that you? Damn. You all over the place, brother. How you doing, man? Oh. It's Mal. Look, our guy Derek. Huh? I went to that video. You still down in? You still down with the spot? Program that I, up there. You wanna, uh, this is your program you yeah. in? What program is this? Pathway. Oh, you in Pathway. So after you leave here, do you no, go back to Chester? I'm on my break. I can't do it now because I, I don't have my stuff set up. Uh, uh, but we can. I'm on live. You want? That's that's our guy Derek. If y'all remember Derek from way back, he was homeless in Kensington. Uh, get off at two forty-five. Get off at two forty-five. Yeah, meet me here at two forty-five. Why well, I got your number? I'm gonna send you a text. All right, I still got your number from Chester. Hold on. Remember, I got your number. I'm gonna call your number. Hold on. Yeah. Call right now. Yeah, look for me. I'm on live right now, so it's gonna interrupt my live. What's your number? Hold on one second, y'all. People, so when I'm done, message. All right, brother. All right. All right, Derek. Good to see you, man. Yeah, yeah. Just mess me, all right? Yeah, that's our God, Derek. He's doing great. Derek' mother was addicted to crack. Derek, Derek got he got adopted by some Christian Christian folks, and he had a good home. He got a sad story, but I'm glad to see that he's he's doing much better. Cause the last two years ago he was doing bad in Kensington. He was, I used to see him sleeping on the ground. It was sad. He got autism. But I'm glad to see he turned his life around. It's always great to see that. On Saturday, I'm supposed to meet up with this pastor. I'm supposed to hang out with the pastor in Kensington. Okay, we're almost there, y'all. We have like three or four more blocks to go. Happy Friday today Friday right thank God it's Friday yeah sorry fam I can't I can't see the chat it's hard they have to make phones that have that come with like a screen like some type of umbrella for your phone a phone umbrella to block the, the sun Even in photography and videography, the sun could be your best friend or the sun could be your worst enemy in photography. 
You don't want it too overexposed and you don't want it underexposed. So right now it's overexposed because of the Man. Mal does AML follow up even more when he didn't plan. All right, that's facts. I wasn't even expecting that. He was like, "You want to do an update now?" I don't even have my camera. I left everything on the other side. When I get done doing donations, then I could do interviews, one thing at a time. I'm sure you all are used to this to this particular area that I'm in because I pass it often on live yeah I thought it was going to rain it looked like it was going to rain earlier now the sun is out full blast. I have sensitive, I have eyes sensitivity to the, to light. Thanks for all the love. Thanks for the love, AML fam. I think I'll be in Kensington for like a few days or maybe more. So much that I have to do down here. So many people looking for their daughters. Looking for their sons. So us who come down here often have to help these people find their, their loved ones. <sighs> and what's that? the other side of town. Hey, brother. You should go sit on the couch on me on the, the bench. All right? So that way you, nobody, you won't hurt yourself. You should sit on the bench. All right, brother? Yeah, no doubt. I said he should go sit on the couch. <laughs> the bench. Zalazane got everybody sleeping out here. Elaine mother is worried about Elaine. She hasn't heard from Elaine again. So she messaged me. Have I seen Elaine? I told her so the last time I saw Elaine was on the 15th of last month. And she was really in bad condition but she thinks in her mind that she's okay and she's not okay another family member from elaine reached out to me from the mom the mom gave her my number so she reached out to me and said that somebody kept calling her phone and saying that elaine was dead so i told the mom that i'm in kensington today and i'll go look for elaine but people do that all the time in Kensington. They, they text people, they call people, family members and stuff saying that they are dead and that person be alive. So the family is concerned after hearing that rumor and not hearing from Elaine. So I'll have to go look for her today. And there's so many parents that reach out to me for their kids. I can only do but so much. Okay, we're almost there, y'all. Yeah. We're gonna. So, Carol and Kevin relocated 
from from their usual spot to now there with Bill. They don't know him because when I mentioned was there a guy named Bill in the area, they weren't sure. But today they texted me and they was like, yeah, a guy named Bill was here yesterday. So they're in Bill vicinity. I guess they got tired being on the Ave. Somebody else took their spot though. Okay, I can see. You'll be back, Lady K. We'll be waiting for you. The last raw. That's the last raw right there, fam. The last raw. That's a beautiful statue right there. I love that. The day I get my own house or something, I want one of these religious statues in my yard. Right in front of my house, I want this a religious statue in front of my house. <laughs> now it look like it's gonna rain. Look at that. He's pretty. Pretty guy. That's a guy, right? It's a guy. Oh, I'm so sorry, miss. I apologize. <laughs> That was a girl, I thought it was a guy. So I had to apologize to the dog. All right, fam, we're almost at our location. Now, it looked like it's gonna rain for sure, man. You see them clouds? I remember when I was young, people that I, I was living with, when it would rain, they would tell me like, God is taking a shower. <laughs> and I really believed that as a kid. So every time it would rain, I would think God is taking a shower. I'm like, damn, I'm like God is taking a real long shower. So as a kid for the longest, every time it would rain, I thought God was taking a shower. And then when it was a thunder, when it was like, boom, a thunder, they told me it was God and the devil fighting. So as a kid, these were the things that was told to me. When you hear thunder, that means God and the devil was fighting. And when it's raining, that means God is taking a shower. Oh, as a kid, we believe all kinds of stuff, right? Yeah, that was wrong. That's what they told me. Yeah, a lot of people, when I was younger, I got taught a lot of things. When I grew up, I found out it was lies. I was finding out the people who was telling me these things was, was ignorant people. But as I got older, I discovered the truth for myself. Just like they used to tell me about cats was related to voodoo, a symbol of evil. So for a long time, I hated cats. They told cats cry like babies because they kill babies and all types of stuff these are the things i was taught so for the longest i hated cats until i educated myself and realized that they're wrong they lied to me uh-oh backing up the school bus so we're almost there fam I thought we could lay on clouds. <laughs> See, I'm sure I'm sure some of y'all have stuff that y'all family members or people in your family or around told you as a kid and you believed it. But when you got older, you realized it was a lie. You discover the truth yourself. Like, man, cats are not bad. Cats are animals just like any other animals it's all the you know who bad humans humans are bad <laughs> people say animals are bad but what about humans human humans are bad are worse than animals not all human obviously but we have some humans that are bad people say animals is bad but humans are the worst
Okay, so we're almost at our destination. This is Port Richmond. A lot of people come down on this side to get away from the chaos on KNA. KNA stands for Kensington and Allegheny. That's what KNA stands for. Kensington and Allegheny. With three kids, one can lay in the middle of the sheet on the floor with the other two whole. Sad was some are told. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right. We get brainwashed as kids into believing certain things. But when we grow up, we do our own research and we find out the people who was telling us these things were wrong. I guess it was stuff that they was taught themselves. That's why you have to do research. Doing or else you'll believe some craziness. Okay, so this is the I-95 bridge. If I was homeless, I'll be right where they are also because that area is it's a little better. As far as protection from the rain, protection from crazy individuals, if you're out in the open. So this is where, remember that? Remember that spot me and Bill went to? We'll go there sometime this month. All right, let's cross. Oh, Coca-Cola truck, you got some drinks for me? I need that right now. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to be. Yeah, the gate opened up. Okay, fam, we made it. We reached safely. Let's go check it out. We got hangers on the fence. This is closet for some people. If you don't have, this is, oh, look. We got an extension cord back there. See? Private property, no trespassing. Oh, it's open. All the stuff that people throw on the on the ground on the ground, needles, crack pipes, crack jaws. This right here. This is a filter. They use this as a filter. They put the dope in the cooker. They cook the dope and they put the sponge in it to get rid of like any debris, any dirt that falls into the fat and all. So they, and they also use this too as a backup. Like when they don't have any more fat and all, they squeeze these things to get the rest of the, the liquid out of it. So that's a little education. <laughs> Okay, so this is their new location. I have to find them now. Yo, yo. Who that, Bill? Yo, yo. Shout out to the fam. Good morning, brother. <laughs> I'm all right, man. I, I see you. You taking your load, your nap. I'm all right. I talked to a couple that I was you um originally you know following up on. They said they're down here now. Kevin and Caroline. They said they 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 saw you. Kevin and Caroline. So do you know where they are located? They are a new group of people that just moved over here recently. I haven't seen you, 
You haven't seen? Because I, I just, Kevin, you haven't seen a, a, a vet? He's a vet. Kevin, you haven't seen a vet? Is there anybody back there? So let me go look for them good because they say they're here. So let me let me go look around for them, all right? Stay right there, brother. All right. So let's let's keep on moving, yeah. She said this is where they were. So I just have to find them. Ah, look at all those cassettes, remember? VHS. Let's go see where they at, fam. Are they all the way back here? If you if you are a dumpster diver, if you are a dumpster diver, oh you know what I thought that was? I thought it was one of those cooking things you like cook on. But if you are a dumpster diver, Kensington will be the best place for you because you can come over here and find treasures. A lot of times people get kicked out. They get kicked out with all their belongings and they just drop their belongings off in Kensington. This is a crack party. All these things you see are crack jars. Blue, the green, crack jars. <sighs> Let me come over here. If they're not over here, I have to, I have to call them because I don't know what side they're on. But I would think they would be over here because she said this is where they were. Well, at least I got Bill helping me. So it's like a, yeah, I don't, I don't see them fam. So, I bet you if I look through this, oh, they got some, I'm about to text them some here, y'all fam. So hold on, I gotta text them. Just now, let them know I don't see them, that I'm with Bill. So if they know Bill, they know where he's at, they can come and meet me. Well, you can see it's like a huge dumping site. People just dump their trash. Like I said, people get kicked out of their home they don't have nowhere to put their stuff. They just, whoever is in that car, like, yo, you gotta get your stuff out of my car. And they're gonna dump it places like this. And that's how it goes. Let's see what's over here. Let's go back up front. Let's wait and see what they say. I don't know what side they're on, but this is where I was hoping they would be at. <laughs> yeah, I never do it for nothing. I always end up running to, running into people. <laughs> but if I if they don't get back to me within like the next 30 minutes, it's people that, that want these things. They want it bad. What's this? Oh, that's empty. Oh, I like this. This is nice. If you got a little backyard, this would be nice, right? You can even use that as a grill. You can get creative, use that as a grill. 
So we're in the Badlands, fam. Let's go see. We saw our guy Bill was knocked out. Wintertime is going to be vicious because they, they're going to be doing the same thing in the wintertime just with fire. But they're going to be out here in the cold. And that's the sad part. Let's see. Let's see what was going on at this party. We got some. Okay. That was a little party over there. Look at this little thing. That's kind of cool, right? Like you can, I don't know, I think like a drink, drink holder, a drink holder. All right, let's keep it pushing, yeah. Let me check my messages, see if they message me back. Hold on. Message me back. It's a weird message. They said we're not one fill. We're not one fill. We're in that one. They're in a the fill. Hey, buddy, let's go check out this fill. They said that they're in a the fill. A fill. So, where you think a fill would be? Let's go over there. Let's see. I'm right there, buddy. My guy Bill said he's getting dressed. I just woke him up. They said they're in that one fill. So let's go see the one fail that they're in. Bill said the only fail he knows on the, that place where it's a private property. Then it's another fail on that side. So there's more than one fail over here. Let's see what's in here. Man, they got a living room. They got canned goods, bottle goods, jar goods. That's how we living. Kensington Cribs. This is Kensington Cribs, how we living. So I'm waiting on my tour guy. Bill is my tour guy. Somebody crib. No door to knock. I just want to see how they living. What's this? It's back in the day's book. Damn, published 1981. This book was published in 1981. I, I'm reading your messages now. What y'all said? I'm reading messages now. What y'all said, fam? What you said, Rose? I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm looking now. Hey, Bill, so you said it's a fill over there? Straight over here. Straight over there? Let's go check it out. You got, you got the wagon, Bill? Yeah, Put your stuff it. in there, brother. Yeah, you know I got you, Bill. I'm trying to quit that before this year is over. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's and people wonder why people in active like they do hardcore drugs don't stop. It's one of the reasons. It's hard. It's not easy. So you say it's a fill right here. All right, let's go check out that fill. So Bill is our tour guy. Okay, let's go check it out. So we see Bill says a cardboard over there. Let's go check them out. We're lucky to outlaw meth, meth, methyl cigarettes in California. Yeah, that's good. Give the live show a thumbs up. Yes, that's right, ES. Show your boy Mau Mau some love. You know, Mau Mau. Take y'all live when I can. Ch 
try to see. How do we even get in here? So this is where you see anybody? I don't see nobody over there. You says, uh? Somebody was in there? Hold on, y'all. Let me message them again. Here for now. Okay. They messaged me and said that, that they asked me if was I under the I-95 and I said, yeah. Right, so, we'll just hang out so we'll just hang out here and wait for them to come. Because I have no idea where they at. There's a lot of fields around here. Yeah, and Bill, once there's some men stuff in there too, you're gonna need to give yourself a you know a, a fresh fit. So it's got some men stuff in there too. You definitely gonna get get yourself an outfit, all right, brother? Let me let me check this message again. Let's walk down here, Bill. So I just told him to meet me over here because I have no idea what field they're in. Oh, Bill got music for us today. Okay, Bill. Yeah, I saw that thing get in charge. Were you charging it? I saw, okay, so that it, it does work. <laughs> yeah, I see that it does work. I thought it was. I thought those people on that side only had electricity. I didn't know you had some too. Yeah. Mal goes out and above. Oh, thanks, Rose. Yeah, the AML family goes out and above. You know, without y'all, I can't do this. This is too much for one person. This is a very dark, dark, dark. So some days, it, some days it'd be too much for me because it's so dark. You know, so much heartache that comes with this that you have to step back for your own mental health. Because if you don't step back from this work for your own mental health, you're going to be depressed. You're going to be sad because that's what comes with this life. It's sad. You'll never get used to it, brother. If I'm just speaking for myself. I just have to learn how to deal with it. But I will never get used to people suffering. So, yeah. Let me check the message again, see what they said. But apparently, they're on that other side, right? Okay, so we kind of figure out where they're at right now. They're on the other side with Tracy and Tony. Yeah. Remember that side where I took you at that? whole encampment they had electricity over there and everything that's where they're at nah i'm staying in contact with them rose they just told me that they're on the other side so there's another side to this whole thing another side back they are they're on the opposite side Yeah, I walk a lot. <laughs> I guess that's why I'm always, that's why I'm in shape, because I walk a lot. Driving is just not the same as exploring. I feel like if I drive, driving make things easy as far as like, with donations, because you can put everything in your car and go from one place to the next. But if you're trying to like do interviews, trying to track people, you can't be in a car. You gotta be ten toes down on it. Ten toes down. I mean you could be in a car, but it's gonna be harder for you. You can still do it, don't get me wrong. But I prefer walking. So yeah. They're on the other side. The other side of town. 
All rose things, darling. <laughs> I try to be the best person I can be for myself. Yeah, I try to be the best version I can be every day. Some days are better than others. You know how it goes. But like I said, it's all about your heart. It's all about that thing you got inside of your body that nobody can see. That's what it's all about, your heart. So a lot of y'all have a good heart and it shows because I know who got good heart and I know who got bad heart, trust me. It's from the way you talk to people, the comments you leave, it tells me a lot about a person. Everybody's struggling, some just more than others. A lot of us, we don't talk about our struggles because we feel like people just want to be nosy. They're going to take it and go spread gossip with it. So that's what makes a lot of people don't want to talk about their problems. Because a lot of people are not going to help them. They're going to judge instead. So there's a lot of us out there who have things bottled up that hasn't been open yet. Well, I hope you heal from these things. It's just not easy. And if you're still alive, you're a warrior for being alive and living with it. And to all my people that's going through pain, I wish I can take your pain away. That's one of the worst, thing to, worst things to live with pain. To be able to sleep comfortable peacefully that takes a lot I'm just I'm just running my mouth alright fam you know Bill don't mess around he like yo let's go Mal Bill know he's working right now and Mal is gonna bless him so every time he see me he's like yeah I'm ready to work <laughs> even if he's in deep sleep he's gonna wake up Cause this is his daily bread. You working today, Bill? You you gonna do your other job today? Are you are you off today? Huh? huh? They stopped hiring you to do that job? Temporary? Oh man, damn. So now you back to? Oh man. So our guy Bill, his little hustle that he had, is finished. So now he's back to panhandling. That's what you're back to, panhandling? And hey, you know panhandling is no joke. It takes you like three hours just to make a couple dollars sometimes. It all depends on, the, on how nice people feel that day. If they don't feel nice that day, they had an argument with their girl, their wife, their husband, forget it. <laughs> you ain't getting nada. All right, so we're here. This is the other side. Damn, they got a huge, a huge tent. All right. Hey, yo, Ka Caroline. That's them. What's up, y'all? <laughs> I'm with the family. I let y'all do y'all thing, all right? What, what Kevin at? All right. So we got the donations for y'all to go through. Hey, Bill, take your stuff out of there, brother, so that way. Remember, they got men's stuff here, too, Bill. So dump that joint out. They're all nice clothes. People been, yeah, it's men's stuff here. It's women's stuff here. So, Caroline, you, you got to come and get first dibs, love, because you know how it goes. Yeah, Caroline, get first dibs. Once she, it's men's stuff in there too. They all got tags on it. So go ahead, get first dibs. What's up, Kev? I'm all right, brother. Are we, um, I'm, I'm live right now. right now. Yeah, you good. 
It's, 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 it's on the stuff. I know some. Woo -woo. How's the kitty cat doing? Um, the kitty cat. You can talk to cat about that. Okay, all right. I just want to know how he or she was doing, that's all. Yeah, the mother is doing well. The mother got spayed. Yeah, he has the mom. Yeah, the, the mother got spayed, and I found a home that's going to adopt her. Yeah, she yeah she gained a lot of weight, too. She looked really nice. Yeah. Aww. She's a house cat. She don't like very nice stuff. Yeah, you tell. Yep. I like what we saw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tickle, tickle what y'all need. Yeah. Hey, hey, sweetheart, you okay. might as well go in there, too. Yeah. All right, that's what's up. You want to know the sick bill? Yeah. Pull the pack down, all right? Got you, brother. I got you, thank you. You like that, buddy. Yeah, there you go. Plus on my lighter, man. I don't know where they're at. Right? I had, like, a lot of lighters at home. Dude, I buy, like, three of them a day. <laughs> Do you get robbed for your lighters? Uh, man, I'm going to go. I don't know where they're at. They're over there. Yeah, that's nice, right? Oh, yeah, hold it for me. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kevin, they got some men's stuff here. So, Carol can take some stuff for you. You can take That's some stuff for Carol. Yeah. yeah. And then we can do an a update. You say you want to like talk about your cash app and all that stuff, right? Once I give these clothes out. Yeah, I just opened up a P.O. box recently and they sent these three boxes. So more stuff is going to come and I'm going to bring stuff to y'all too, you know. And I got your number, so that's good. That's good you got a phone. Yeah, she's like the only one that has a phone out here. It's really hard for people to have keep phones, so I'm... They, they got a phone. I was giving people an outfit, but you need it, so you can take what you want, all right? <laughs> yeah, Bill, it might be some stuff in there for guys. Yeah, because I was out here earlier. Nice stuff, right? Yeah, Carol, that lady name is Carol. Shout out to Carol for the love. Yeah, see? And you just said you didn't have much clothes, right? Yeah. Yeah, Caroline said she didn't have... Y'all need a bag or something? Yeah, I'll be down here for a few days. Yeah. So once I'm done doing this, we could do something together. Yeah, somebody else is at your spot. It's a whole... Yeah, I saw it. I'm like... I thought y'all was going to be there, but then I got closer. It was a whole different bunch of people. I'm like, oh. What's up, brother? Sour guy, Kev, white tea, looking fresh. Hopefully, you can find some men's stuff in there. Dig in there. Kev got the white tea on. You know, you can't go wrong with white tea. Oh. They dropped up. The yeah. Whole bag of t-shirt, that's love. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh that's oh that's why he got white tea on. Okay, yeah. She said somebody Yeah, yeah, no, give give bless our boy with a our guy with a sick. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, take what y'all need, then we're gonna break break the rest off of y'all y'all done? Bill, go in there, see if you see anything you might like, brother. Uh, I'll spin it around, all right? I'm going to knock. You want to say hi to Carol? Hi. 
<laughs> Carolina's in a Thank good you. mood today. She's 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 good today. Yeah, I am. That's, that's great to hear that. Cause it's it's stressful out here. That oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice of you. So that's happy you're down here. Yeah. Your song's bad. I mean, you know, right, right, right. Been getting some sleep. So I'll be back for us to do the update, all right? I'll be back for us to do the update, okay? Okay. So you can give your cash yeah, out. Please, all right. Because, you know, right, right. Sleep. Okay, all right. Let me spin around, all right? Thank you. Thank you. I think, yeah. Let me see if I got like a couple huh? dollars. Let me see if I got a couple dollars on me to give y'all. So I gotta break my boy off for working with me. Is this Bill? Yeah, that's Bill. Hold that for now, right? Thank you. Yeah. You know, we'll be back. Yeah, so let's, yeah. Said, is there a bill around yeah, that's the guy I'm talking I was, about. It was, only, it was like our first day here, and I wasn't sure. He's on the other oh, side. My boyfriend was like, you've seen him before, but I couldn't. Right, right. Face in it. You know what I mean? Right. But now I, now I know All right, yeah, that, he's a good guy. He always my tour guy, helped me give our donation. Yeah. All right, he's yeah. the best um, wagons ever. Yeah, right, somebody. I one. Uh-huh. And it, I loved it, and I let somebody borrow You need feet wear, love? You got shoes? You got shoes? Okay. Yeah, what size were they? Yeah, where, where them joints at? Yeah, you. That what might size be. Are they? I, I don't know. It's too small? That, that might good. fit you, right, Carol? Yeah, it could fit somebody. Yeah. I would love to wear these. Yeah. Oh, it's not? Oh, okay. We'll find somebody. Oh, no? Nah? All right. All right, y'all. Okay. We'll be back, all right? We're going to knock this out. All right. All right, fam. So we're gonna walk down there and we'll get, give the rest out, all right? All right, so I'm sure we'll give everything out before we hit KA. Before we even hit that spot, we're gonna give everything out. So we're almost halfway done with the donations. I've been giving it out since this morning. I shot some videos, some shorts. I'll put that up in a little bit. All female stuff in there left. All right. Kathleen took an outfit. She gave one of her friends an outfit that's in recovery. So Kathleen got an outfit. Her friend in recovery got an outfit. So yeah, we giving, we, we sharing the love. Trying to make sure everybody get an outfit. That's what I was doing this morning. I was having people pick out, pick out an outfit because if I say pick, they're going to take a lot. Because I want to share with every, share with, you know, at least share with enough people. Remember that spot we walked to, Bill, in the rain? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll go back there sometime this month yeah. to do interviews. Yeah, yeah Carol is a sweetheart. The AML family is a, is a sweetheart. Y'all yeah, been sending stuff since 2020 when I started doing this. And we have been doing this. We have given so many stuff to Kensington. So much stuff we have given back. So can nobody say the AML family don't give back to Kensington because it's, we have videos, we have a whole library of, of donations. So that's one person when y'all hear them talking bad about Mal, put them in check, y'all. Let them know Mal is out there. Put it in work. He's, he's trying to help people turn their life around. Put you down, yeah. In there too. Oh man, the devil been fighting me like hell. Well, God's there too, the past couple of weeks. Well, God <clears throat> yup, God is always there for sure. Excuse me, but yeah, the devil been fighting me like crazy. I've been trying to edit two videos. I I try to edit this this week. I just been having problems with it. Stuff was going wrong with that with, with like the the editing software. Oh man, it was a nightmare. But I didn't quit. I still stuck it out. And I put them two videos out. One was was um what's the guy name? I just Dan. Doing that that video for Dan, the devil was fighting me so hard. 
things just kept on happening with the edit. But I made it work. But yeah, it's a lot goes on behind the scenes trying to edit a video. It's a lot goes on behind the scenes trying to film a video in a war zone. So much distraction. Sometimes you can't hear the questions. So it's a lot. Huh? Yeah, right? Fall is around the corner, brother. But we don't give up. That's one thing we don't do. We don't quit. We rest. We take a break. And then we get back at it. That's what I did. I, I took, a, took a break. And then I got back at it. Sometimes you need to clear your head, bro. Yeah. You really do. Editing, edit, editing videos, a lot of work. Especially when you got to edit long videos, like your wrists hurt, carpal tunnel and all that stuff. Yeah, from editing. And I do everything myself. I don't have like a person to edit my videos or none of that. So I have to do the interview, film the interview, edit the interview. Some people got a whole team. They just shoot, somebody edit, and that's how come they just put out videos back to back. Because all they doing is shooting, somebody else editing. But me, yeah, I have to, all. yeah. Like you right, then I got to go home, sit yeah, down. Yeah, it's because them long interviews is like, it's hard because it's like, a, it takes a lot of time editing. That's why I, <laughs> 10 minute interviews is good but 20 minutes that's a lot some people be like yeah, i want a long interview i'm like you know what i gotta do to give you a long interview and you're interviewing people who don't want to do a long interview because right they want to yeah people want to just tell you like 10 five minutes and that's it So it takes a lot to do these interviews. And sometimes the... Yeah, and then that too, a lot of people don't want to be on camera. So, yeah, they are ashamed. So you have those people who don't want to be on camera and their family are looking for them. They don't want to be found. I have many stories where I try to interview people that are like, nope. It's gonna be on YouTube. Nope. <laughs> they say, is it gonna be on YouTube? Nope. My family gonna see that? Nope. Yeah. So it's not, it takes a lot to do these interviews, fam. Yeah, Randy, giving up is not in my DNA because that's so easy. It's so easy to give up. That's the easiest thing you can do in this world is give up. But, but fighting, now that's a challenge. I like challenges. I don't like stuff where there is no challenge. Let's walk through this park. We might find somebody that is in need of something. We could get in the shade a little bit. Huh? Song your song? <laughs> What's your song? What's the name of your song? That's a country music, huh? I listen to all music. And that's your favorite song. Who sang it? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the the Polish area. The Polish people are not, they're not having that chaos you see at k and in that neck of the woods. So this is the Polish people park. Well, I still see people come here sometimes. Let's cut down here. All right, yeah. 
Glad I got my boy Bill helping me out. What's up, brother? How are you, man? So we making our way down to K&A, y'all. Uh. Nobody taking my wagon, that's for sure. The wagon belongs to the family. People are trying to take my wagon. Also, those people that I saw earlier when we was coming down, we're going to go back over there, see if they want to take the rest of the stuff. Yeah, my feet starting to hurt already because I got these big boots on. I should have worn my sneakers. Miss R, yes, and that's what I love about this channel, Rose. I found gotta do to keep my sobriety. Yes, Natalie. Shout out to each and every one of y'all who are staying strong because it's not easy. Temptation is like on your back. Life, stress, it's on your back. And to stay strong through all that it takes a, a warrior. You got to be a warrior to stay strong through all that. Because all that devil want is to take you right back to where you left off at. Yeah, Miranda. Miranda, yeah, me and my, me and my tour guy, Bill. He's working with me today as usual, you know. Everybody want the job with Mal, but I get a job to build. So yeah, hopefully today Jackie will open up the PO box for me in Florida. Then that way y'all can send stuff for Maya and Matt. And it'll be our PO box in Florida. We'll have one in Philadelphia and one in Florida. Because as more people go to Florida, they're going to need help. And due to the fact I can't make the ad their address public, P.O. Box has to, has to solve that case. Because people need stuff. Maya needs stuff. I'm sure Matt needs stuff. He needs support. So I feel like that's the best thing to do. Yeah, somebody came on my page talking about, I hope this ain't no body, body brokering stuff. I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't know nothing about those body brokering things. I'm not into none of those things. I didn't get a dime for anybody that went to Florida. I didn't get five cents. I paid my money to help people get to Florida. And I'm still paying my money to help them in florida and the aml family also paying paying money to help people so i don't know nothing about that body broker and stuff it's not it's not on my on my time watch all i know is a lady a nice lady who was in kensington made it out her sister died in kensington her sister od on drugs and due to her sister passing, that's why she went into helping people who struggle with addiction. So she presented to me scholarships. She's like, if you know people who want to leave Kensington for a better life, I can help them. So I'm like, really? So why not give people an opportunity for a better life? So I don't know nothing about all that body brokering stuff, fam. I'm not into none of that stuff. I didn't get five cents for none of these things I'm doing. It's just from the kindness of my heart. So I blocked the lady because I'm like, I block her because I ain't got time for that. I told people already, I don't have time for those type of evil things. It's evil. So, you got the wrong one. Mal, 
was not involved in those type of activities. And I would feel guilty if I were even involved in something like that. I would feel guilty. And I know karma is going to get me. So I don't like karma. It's just an opportunity in Florida, away from Kensington, for a new, a new life. Start off fresh. If it's not working out for you in Philly, move. If you're not a tree. See that tree? That tree's stuck. It can't move itself. But you can move yourself. I moved out of New York to make my life better. If I would have stayed in New York, I would have probably been still doing the same thing I was doing in New York. Nothing really. Working dead-end jobs. Unhappy. But when I moved to Philly, it changed my life. So I just, I'm just saying, sometimes you have to relocate to, to get your blessings. You got to leave your comfort zone to grow. I know people say you take you, you take you where you go. That's true. But you can also change you where you go also. Right? You can also change you where you go. When I moved to Philly, I changed me. Yes, I took me, Mal, to Kensington, to Philly, but I changed Mal. So don't get stuck on that. You'll take you to wherever you go. You can change you. And likewise, you can change yourself in the same environment, but it'll, why not leave? Because you know people, places, and things. It's your weakness. So you have to relocate till you get strong, till you get strong enough. And then you can be like, okay, I can visit Kensington and I'm not going to get tempted. Our past is our past. That's why they call it our past. Yep. Absolutely. <coughs> Excuse me. We learn from our past. That's what the past is used. The past is an, an, an experience to learn from. God bless you, Miss R. Yeah, some people be talking negative about Kent, about Florida. Oh, Florida is the worst place. It's the worst place. It's a shithole. Everywhere you go in the world has a shithole. Everywhere you go in the world has a ghetto, a bad, a, a place filled with poverty. But if you just keep that in your keep that as a mindset, you'll never grow. So we have to we have to be accepting of change. Change happens. A person who was a killer can change their whole life around, become a pastor. It happens. People change. People, you know, receive an awakening. I did a lot of dumb stuff when I was in my in my in my my early adulthoods, in my early 20s, I did a lot of dumb stuff. What I know now, what I do these things, hell no. But you learn, you grow, you learn. Yeah, that's facts. But that's what our experience, our past is used for as a lesson. Our past taught us a lesson and we learn that lesson and whatever we learn in our past, we apply it to the present and the future and help other people who don't know about it open their eyes to, to what you experience. Oh, Bill, let's go down here real quick. Let's go. Let's go in the trenches. Let's go in the trenches. I see a young lady over there. 
Might be something she might want in here. Hello? Hello? Hey, sis. Sis. We got free clothes. Free clothes. We got free clothes. You don't got to pay anything. Get yourself an outfit. Yes, yeah, the AML family. I'm with the AML family, all my love. And we got a bunch of stuff. They're all nice. Yeah, you might find something that you can wear today. Thank you. Yeah, go in there, love. All nice stuff. Our other sisters and brothers have been going through there. Take yourself a pick an outfit for yourself, whatever you like. Because once you're done, we're gonna go to the next era, and you know they're gonna probably take everything. Hopefully your size is in there. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's a nice, some nice jeans. Our our DJ Bill, you like D, you, you like Bill as a DJ, or do we gotta fire him? We need a better DJ. <laughs> You're a good Bill. Yep. Yeah. yeah, take you. You don't. Want, you don't. Think, yeah, that. I know it's hot right now, but you know, in the nighttime it get cold. So you, yeah, you can, yeah, you have, you, what size you wear? Because we haven't found anybody that wear this size. You, oh, you, you wear nine? Okay, all right. You got what you need? You're welcome. Bill, we are, brother. Let's go on the other side. We with the family. Oh, you got it? Oh. All right, dear, you be safe out here, all right? Oh, let me see your bike seat. I'm trying to see what's on your bike seat. I thought there was a word on it. Okay. That's a nice bike. I like the seat. That joint gonna keep your butt nice and soft, you know? <laughs> right? Y'all remember those bikes from back in the days with the hard ass seat? When you get home, your butt felt like you come from riding a horse. That's the bikes that I used to have. Them joints with the hard seats. But her bike got a nice, comfortable seat. It's wide. So, Bill, we going across the street? See, that was a young, a young female. Sure, her parents are worried about her. Don't know. I don't know her story, but I'm sure her parents are worried about her. Anybody that's in Kensington that's, that are out here, their family is worried about them. That's, that's facts. Don't nobody want their family member out here I wouldn't want my family member out here so I know you wouldn't want your family member out here all right this is what we let's see if let's see if, I know I saw a lady over here because I don't think we have any more men stuff in there all girl stuff. All right. Hey, is there a lady? I got female stuff. I told you I was going to come back, right? So now you can come and get whatever stuff you want for the female. Is there a lady nearby? Uh, yeah. Hey, miss, come through. Yeah, you. we don't have any more men stuff. But I'm sure she can, yeah. You can take as many as you want. All right, love? I hope you, yeah, you can take as many as you want. It wants to be... Once we roll, I like your socks. <laughs> uh huh. That's the supper. At least you can get some supper. Yesterday they robbed her for four hundred dollars. It took a bunch of stuff. Damn, that's how it goes out here, man. You turn your back, people will get you. Yeah, little radio. Yeah, take as many as you need, love. Yeah, yeah, we like seven or ten bucks. Oh yeah, I got a cat too. Oh wow, I love cats. I gotta see, is that a boy or a girl cat? Oh look at that, fam. Yeah, I just rescued a cat from here on the train tracks. Oh, you rescued a cat? Yeah. Oh look at that. Look at you. What what's his name? Simba. Simba. Yeah. You need cat food and all that stuff. Yeah, I, I, I've been here since, but now I do. I had it for a minute, 
Mm -hmm. But um, do you ever think about adopt giving her out for adoption one day? If you times get rough for you, you will you well, consider that? Well, yeah, of course. Y'all trying to but, get off the streets? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I would love to buy that cat for me. If y'all think about it, yeah, I help rescue I can't cats. Separate myself from him. Sinbad. Okay, Sinbad. Right, right. Yeah, he loves you. Yeah, if I wouldn't, if I wouldn't rescue it, he would have died. You wouldn't have made it. Yeah, he right, right. Run, and, like he was so small, and he was six weeks old. Mm -hmm. He was big like her hand. At oh six wow! Weeks. And where y'all found him at? He was. Um, Oh, he lo the lady that lives four doors down from the band that we were staying on oh, Willard yeah. Street. Mm -hmm. Almost a, yeah. yeah, almost yeah, the top of the orange cat Right, right. Yeah. But listen, man, if if a Tom ever come yeah, and... There were two orange ones. Yeah, yes. the other yeah. one's a male. Yeah. And She's shaking my hand. Usually... <laughs> Welcome to... Eight times look at out of ten. Oh, you little, you little rough guy, huh? Or males. Look at yeah, that! I love. The mutation in the in the, in the yeah, genes. Like yeah, that, he's, he's uh, frisky. The orange cat. That majority he's of the time. a pretty time, guy. The orange cat comes out to be. Um, mm -hmm. That's a pretty. Females, yeah, that cat is gorgeous. Yeah. But yeah, when if y'all ever. Female or female? That's a male. Yeah, the other one's If y'all ever go through hardship and y'all just want somebody to take care of him in the meantime, where y'all get right, we got places that will help y'all, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I'll give you my number right, bro. Yeah, that's. That's I'm, I'm, that's a I'm, name. I'm, I'm going, I'm going yeah, to yeah. Send me a message. I'm on a live right now, oh, so send okay. me a message, and then that way I can give you one of these wagons till you want one, right? Yeah. We'll get one for you, all right, brother? Yeah. with that, you can. It's 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 awesome because I can transport all my tools. Yeah. I can even do a lot of deliveries. Oh wow! Know, right, right. Oh yeah. Uh, so fam. We have to get our brother Antonio, right? What's your name again? Tino. Tino, yeah. Sab Tino. Tino. We have to get Tino one of these carts to help our brother out. Yeah, and if you got cat food, you're going to always send it to the P.O. box and I'll bring it to him. All right? All right, brother. So we about to head up the block. No, I wanted to show you. Oh, yeah? What's that? August. Look out. This. Oh, that was the See how big he is now? Mm-hmm. August 22nd. Yeah, y'all taking yeah, really that's good. Brought the other one down, dude. It ain't all good. was tiny, bro. Yeah, y'all taking y'all take good care care of him because he's healthy. And you see, like cats mm -hmm. usually don't like saying right, like that. Right, right, exactly. They don't let them touch your stomach. That's they trust thing. you. Yeah. If they in that position, they trust you because that's a vulnerable yeah. spot to be in. Yeah, he she's showing us the picture. It's you see, it's so like bright out here. I can't even see your screen, bro. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna um. Put the picture on, I'm gonna blow it up. Oh, uh, look, look, he's chilling. Yeah, yeah. Fire and the sun, yeah. Like, and I and I got, the I can't leave him. Like, I take him everywhere with me. Yeah. Like, I cannot leave him whole, like, right, so right. crying. Because, like, he considers me like his mom. Right, right. You, know you daddy. Mean? Oh, damn. It's I hard to die. see. Oh, yeah. It's I all right, brother. Exactly. When you charge it, all right? Like you see, like, if you see him, uh -huh. that picture, 22 of August, babe. Skinny, like, right? Oh God, Malnourished? He's, he's so little. I'm like, yo, how did he grow? Like, so much. <laughs> That's so love. That's love. That's how he and grew. That was funny. <laughs> I, I, lo was I love him. He wouldn't have made it because when I took him in, mm -hmm. you know, when they're that little, they usually cry. Mm -hmm. That's all they do is cry. The remote, though, too. I mm -hmm. didn't hear him cry once. Oh, yeah. But I didn't even hear, hear him purr once for mm -hmm. the first five days. And he was very lethargic, moved real slow. Mm -hmm. He his mother for his milk. Slept a lot. Right. But Check the mom out. wasn't fucking with him. Oh, yeah? Really? Yeah. So I went and I got him the milk at the at the animal store, the real milk for the kittens, yeah. because that's, right. they need the, the claustrum. Right, right. The immune system mm -hmm. from the mom. And she wasn't, he wasn't getting that from Okay, the yeah, because they do that sometimes. But then too. also I realized that he had fleas. He didn't have many but they were huge. Oh, I had okay. never seen fleas that big on a little cat like that. Wow. I can't imagine. Well, Once thank you I, for saving him, I brother. I went out and got the uh, stuff for it, the shampoo. Once we washed him and her and plucked every single one of those things out, mm -hmm. he didn't stop purring for a day and a half. <laughs> he awesome. started eating better. Yeah. He started yeah, playing. Did, 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 did. And he got the more. Nation, you know, he got right, more. right. He started being, you know, a cat. Yep. Oh, yo, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you guys yeah, saw me riding around on a bike 
with the cat on my shoulder. Oh, yeah, yeah that's you? Yeah. Okay. You got a cat like that for <laughs> a little <laughs> look. Man, you ain't getting rid of him. Yeah, right, look. Now, look at him. Right, hey, guys. Bill. Bill, we, we're, we're going to go to that store right there, brother. Right, and what's your name again? My name is Mal, like Malcolm. Mal oh, yeah, yeah, Mal. Mal. Yeah, Malcolm. Yeah, nice to meet y'all. Thank you, Malcolm. Nice bro. to meet y'all, right? We'll, we'll be God back in a little you, bit. Y'all stay safe, all right? Yeah, Mal is always trying to get cats off of people now. Yeah. Guys, cats be different cats. This cat, like, like six months old. The other one. Hey, Bill. I only got twenty. I gotta break in and give you half, bro, because I'm broke until I take pay. So I'm gonna give you ten, and then I'm just gonna go up the rest of my way. Then you can go back. All right? You don't gotta go with me all the way to K and A. I go up with you. You sure, brother? That's a long walk. You don't have to, man. You gotta go there. All right. Let me go break this 20. Get my boy Bill 10 for helping me out. I'm broke today, so I don't have it. Like that. <clears throat> How you doing, brother? Nah, I'm surprised. Oh, damn. Even my battery's starting to get low, too. So, yeah, I left all my my camera gear and stuff in the office, so I have to go return. So this phone might die, fam. I thought I was set up for success, but I'm not. I'm sorry, brother. All right, Bill, let's walk up. You sure you, you say you got to go up that way, brother? Cause, yeah, I left my all my stuff. I left all my stuff to the crib. My my charging piece, I forgot everything was in my book bag. You want something cold to drink? Yeah, go ahead. I'm good. You sure you don't want this? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Let me put that in the cart. Save that for later on. Yeah, we crossing over. That's when they did that looting. Remember that looting that happened? People was getting free sneakers. I was testing my luck to see if there was something in there. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so I'm going to go. I'll give the rest of the other stuff a K&A. &A, and then once I go upstairs, rest a little bit, I got to come back outside, look for some people, try to do some interviews. But thanks to everyone who joined the live. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This channel is all about positivity, uplifting one another, spreading hope, spreading love, empathy, compassion. That's where we are leading with on AML is all my love. And we'll continue. We'll continue to put smiles on our people's face and give them hope and let them know they're not alone. So thank you to everyone who's involved on this mission with me. You're amazing. And may you be blessed a billion times for having a good heart. Together we are powerful. And teamwork makes the dream work. Miracles happen every day. Y'all have witnessed miracles happen while I was on the live. So miracles do happen. Just believe. Have faith. Get rid of negative thoughts. When them negative thoughts come around, start telling you you're not good enough, that you're not this, you're not that. Tell them, go away, devil. Kick them back to the sender. Whoever send that to you, rebuke it. Send it back, right back to that person, all right? Because you are more than enough and if somebody 
is being toxic towards you, if somebody is, is being disrespectful, cut that person out of your life. You don't need that. I don't care if it's your brother, your mother, your father, your sister. If they are toxic, cut them out of your life. You don't, you don't need that. Close your heart to people who are evil. Don't even give them your energy. If you try to talk to them and they keep putting all the blame on you, keep it moving. Trust me, they'll, they'll come back to you. But then it's not going to be the same anymore because you're not going to feel the same way about them anymore. So don't ever think any less of yourself. You are more than enough. You are special. You are unique in your own way. All right. Just because you're not ahead as some people in your age group is ahead. That doesn't mean you're a failure. No, you're not. It's just that mean life was hard for you. That's all. All right. And those people who got everything, who think they are the best, they're not better than you. All right. To me, you're better than them. Because material thing doesn't, doesn't define who you are. Your heart is what defines who you are. What you do when nobody is looking, that's who you are. When nobody is watching you, that's who you are. Accept yourself, love yourself. With all your flaws, accept yourself. Because if you don't accept yourself, you can't get mad if other people don't accept you because you don't even accept yourself. So learn to accept yourself. We're almost there. You all right, Bill? Yeah. All right, we're almost there, brother. We're almost there. Australia, we out there. I love, I love hearing y'all say where y'all from. Cause I'm like, damn, we all the way out there. We're deep. Yep, we're deep and we're worldwide. Worldwide. Amplifying our message. Worldwide. AML family worldwide. Let's see if, if I want to see if there's any woman, any females nearby. I saw that that lady. Damn, I forgot her name, man. I be forgetting people's names, fam. So many people that I deal with, it's hard to remember everybody's names. I have to continuously keep encountering you for it to stick. Okay, we are officially at k and I hope nobody is following me, trying to see where I go. That's the only thing about live, because people could be watching you, following you, you don't already know. Hey, dear, you want jeans? You want a pair of jeans? It's free. Let's see what size is yours, see if that size fits you. A size, see what size is that? That's a size four. This is a size eight. Six. Oh, six. So we have 12. Now nah, we only have 12. Do you fit this right here? No. All right. So you, you want another pair of undies? Under, un, so you don't want the four or the eights? I mean, you're going to, the four? Nah, brother. So that's fine? Oh, you want a smaller one? 
you got to go through them and see. Is that fine? You go with those ones? All right. All right. Let me help you up. You got it? Oh, oh, you got it. You got it, love. Your hand hurt. There's a lot of pain. Yeah, your ankle was swollen, right? Damn. So sorry, love. You gonna go to the hospital to get that checked out? No. Okay. You sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. But you in pain, love. You gotta go to the hospital I, just to I make sure you're okay, all right? Good. Yeah, take what you need, because once I hit the corner, you want something cold to drink? Yeah, I'll take it. Let me open that up for you, love. Here, yeah, something nice and cold for you to drink. I'll take the eight. Yeah, exactly. You yeah, you want you want both? Yeah. yeah. I'll take the eight and the and the underwear. So you fine with that, right, love? All right, enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Have a great day, sweetheart. All right. I feel better. Well, Bill, thank you so much for helping me uh, out, brother. You. I love you, brother. Yeah, love you too, man. Love you, AML. <laughs> Be safe, all right, brother. All right, brother. Our guy. What up? Oh yeah, let me um you t the last time the last time you took the whole pack, I was like, let me just get one. All right, brother, be safe, all right? Oh yeah, my lighter. All right, Bill, be safe, all right, brother? I right, love you too. All right. <laughs> Look at you. Are you talking about the John? Damn, what's going on over here? Damn, what happened down there? See, the cops walking all crazy down there. I wonder what happened. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Hey love, I'm with the AML family. This the last few things. I don't know if this size fits you, you wear size 12? Or what about you wear you wear sneakers size six? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't got your size. What about a pair of underwear? You want that? Alright, love, be safe, alright? All right, fam, so that's what it is. We down to the last of the last. Oh, look at my girl. This the last of the last. You want it? It's free, all right? Yeah, I'm, 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 you can have these kicks, all right, love? I'll be back, all right? You can give it to somebody who they fit. Look, on these right, it's the last. I'll be back, all right, love? I'm gonna put this wagon upstairs. Yeah, I'll be back. I'm gonna put this wagon upstairs. Yeah, that's our girl. What's her name, Denise? Huh? I'll be back, y'all. Oh, yeah. Everybody love my wagon. <laughs> Amazon. Yeah. Oh, I, I have no idea. I will look and I'll come back and let you know, all right? You're welcome. Yeah, everybody love my wagon, y'all. They trying to take my wagon. This is the AML family wagon. Yeah, I just had to get a last out. Somebody, she can give it to somebody. Cause now my cart is empty and that's good. That was the goal. That was the goal for my cart to be empty. We put a lot of smiles on faces and that was awesome. Like, I don't know which way I want to go. Shout out to the AML family. Damn, you out here. Hold on, hold on. I'm, 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 you're not on live. I turn it sideways. Damn. Nah, nah, you good. It's, it's, it's pointed that way. Damn, I'm sorry, love. Yeah, I, 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 I,
Okay, hold on, yeah. I'm, I'm a, my girl Myra right now. It's not facing her, it's facing the, the, the street because I just want to know what happened. What happened, Myra? What happened was, uh, I was in my room and I was, um, I guess I was like sleeping too much and it was like letting me because it was, I was just getting, you know, I was just getting through that shit. So the, the people were taking advantage of my arm thing. And the girl. The train go by. Like that, wait. So the girl uh, snuck me from the back. Somebody and, snuck you? Yeah, she snuck me from the back and uh -huh. she hit me in my eye and I hit her the fuck back. Uh huh. So, so you hit her back. I hit her back, that's the problem. So because you she attacked you first, did you report her attacking you or you, you hit her first no, after no, she no. hit you? She hit me and then um, I was chilling. I wasn't gonna do nothing else. I wasn't gonna fight no more, none of that. I knew the consequences. Right. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what it. So like, they kicked you out? They hit both of us out. They kicked both of y'all out? Yeah. I thought, um, yeah, um, what's that lady, um, the lady who's been helping you? Angie. Angie, I thought she said that, um, Rock Ministry came and got you. No, they didn't. They, they didn't get no. you? No. So they, they just left you out here? Yeah. Damn. What's up? Oh, what's up, my brother? I'm busy right now, though, bro. Holler at me in like 10, 15 minutes, all right? Oh, yeah. Yo, you got, you got the big screen, John, man. How much you selling that for? Damn, bud. Yeah, that joint is nice. Oh, you want to plug it and see if it works? Oh, okay. Yeah, because that, that joint is... Yeah, I want that joint, bro. Yeah, that shit work. I want it, too. Yeah, because I'm letting that joint work. I was going to be perfect for me, man. Yeah, where well, you think you're going to plug it in there to find out if it works? Yeah, I'm, I'm, cause she got kicked out the rehab, bro. Cause we've been trying to find our sister, you know, we helping her go for me. I see her back out here, so it hurt, man. Like she was just in Eaglesville. So yeah, she, she didn't tell me that, you know, that you was back out here. She said she was going to let me know what happened, but she never got back to me. So I'm surprised seeing you. So how, what, what, how can we help you now? All your money, don't let nobody take your money, all right? Right, so how can we help you now, Myra? Because you, well, you've been now, doing great. I know, that, like, I was going through the race, you know, Yeah, the race. your daughter yes, back in your life, yes. how she's going to feel? Right. Hurt. She's going to feel fucked yeah. up. Yeah. So, like, how can we, do you want to go to Florida? I will go to Florida. You'll go to Florida? Yeah. So, I'll talk to Jackie. Right when I go home right now, I'm going to go talk to Jackie. Said Myra wants to go to Florida because I think if you over there, it's going to be much. You can smoke cigarettes and all that yeah, stuff, no right? Smoke. Right, right. Like, it's gonna be real nice. So if I talk to Jackie, she said, Monday, will you be willing to go on Monday? Yeah. It's a train ride. It's a day. But you'll be set up for that train ride. I'll make sure you set up for the train ride. Yeah. I'll talk to her. Are you going to be over here? I'll be back, all right? I'm going to drop this wagon off, and I'll be back. I'm going to go drop this wagon off, and I'm coming back and stuff. I'm going to charge my phone and stuff, all right? Let me know how that TV is. I'll be back in like 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to give you my number. All right. I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to go. When I go charge my phone, I'm going to talk to her. Then I'm going to come back and let you know what she said, all right? All right. Damn, man. See what I'm talking about, fam? See what I'm talking about? That's Myra. She was in rehab at Eaglesville. The lady that's been helping her, Angie, said she got in a fight. And I'm like, how she's going to get in a fight? She got one arm. So she just said that a girl attacked her and she hit the girl back and they both got kicked out the rehab. So now she's back in Kensington. So now I'm going to talk to Jackie to see if she can go to Florida. See what I'm talking about, fam? You're going to kick people out of the rehab. And where you think they're going to go? Back on the streets. So what? See the system that we got? It's a messed up ass system. Why you can't give them like a warning or separate them, but you're going to kick both of them out? That's the type of stuff that make my blood 
boil you. My blood is boiling right now seeing her out here, fam. And this is what I'm talking about, the darkness that comes with this light, comes with this job. The heartache that comes with it. She was doing good. Her daughter back in her life. Now how her daughter going to feel? That little girl going to be heartbroken. Alright fam, I'm about to shut down. I gotta look around, make sure nobody's following me and watching me where I go. You know? So I'm gonna go charge my phone and I'll be back, alright fam? Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace out.